What's up, y'all? I'm back with another mini scheme, and this one's from the Carolina Playbook, and I'm going to use Ace. I'm going to use Gun A straight and Gun A slot and maybe some under center, but this is the first play I'm going to show y'all with two tight ends, two wide receivers, and that's corner strike. You know how great corner strike is in every formation, every playbook. This is a great play to attack both flats, and to me, that's what the game is about. Hard flats or cloud flats, that's what it's about. And the reason this corner strike is so good is it actually has the C routes that Bunch has. That's what separates Bunch from a lot of formations. It has those short C routes from PA post and corner strike. And Ace has the same ones. So the main setup I like to do is like I did in Green Bay, I drag both my inside guys. This will allow, if it's cloud flats, it'll allow them to drop down the field faster than if you wanted to throw a quick flat route. And it'll allow you to get big yards in the flat to your big body tight ends, the stiff arm, and fall forward. And there you see man coverage, those quick C routes. Man coverage has no shot to guard those right there. Like I said, one of the reasons I love this is you have two big body tight ends that can get yards after the catch. They can fall forward. Juking and spinning is so good this year. But I feel like the game is about taking what's on the field. And when you have a big body tight end, they can really hold A to get a stiff arm or truck fall forward get big yards especially when you have these guys like greg olson and ed dixon and regs that are fast but also big like you can go tony gonzalez jimmy graham gronkowski whoever you want on your mutt team if you rock two tight ends this is a play for you because you utilize both and your two receivers there you see a cover two with hard flats you can hit the c route along the sideline possession catch it really attacks the field very fast you know, you have to kind of be in run defense against these sets. They usually they blitz to try to stop the run. You can hit the tight end right over the middle. So that's why I love these formations. They're really run heavy. And you also use these underneath plays to your tight ends to really dip and dunk down the field. As I think that's what the game is about now, taking what the defense gives you. And here you see man coverage again. Other side, same route to Devin Funches, who isn't fast, doesn't have good route running, but still gets open on the C route. And we're going to, this is a cover three hard flat. We're able to hit Curtis Samuel, hit a spin move, get some extra yards because they went hard flat to stop the drags. It's really a quick setup and a quick way to go down the field. I feel like this is a play you can run the majority of the game when it's time to pass. And you see seeing the ball, getting the ball to Olsen, trucking, falling forward because they're 6'5 and 280 pounds. You have to use, you know, we've been using scat backs and stuff like that, but you have to realize sometimes you can use a big body tight end to get extra yards. And that's the first play of the mini scheme. If you want more, I will drop the next mini scheme part. Part two is another big deep pass and play out of the Carolina Panthers ace mini scheme. Once this gets to 300 likes, I'll drop the next video. Nerd!